One of the most important things in thinking about life has to do with what is our vision of reality, because our vision of reality shapes everything that we do. So if you ask uh, a person who's a naturalist, which means they think that all reality is bound up in the material, then that shapes how they think about the world. It shapes how they, what they think is important. It's how they make a distinction between the things that are essential and the things that are non-essential. But if you're a theist of some kind, that is that you believe that there is, there is the, the world in which we live, which we call contingent reality, because it's the reality that can exist on its own. It owes its existence to another. And so from a, from a theist point of view, he believes, or she believes, that this is not all there is to reality, that there is a reality of the transcendent realm where universals exist or absolutes exist. And it is that uh, part of reality that really has determined the reality we live in. So if I'm standing outside the empty tomb uh, on Easter Sunday and I'm a theist, then my first thought is not that the body was stolen, but that God raised him from the dead. However, if a naturalist looks at it and says, there must be some explanation by analysis of the material. <laughs> so in that sense, it just shapes everything we do. Now, I should add, everything we do, if we're consistent, but oftentimes we're not consistent. So we will find people who are theists who actually live as if they were naturalists, and we'll have naturalists who smuggle in ideas of theism. So they might say, you have to be a good person. And I would say, well, what is good? And they will say, well, there's a universal moral law. <laughs> but he's a naturalist, and you have to say, where'd you get that from? But then we look at Christians, and they may just do the flip-flop on that. So I always have to add, it shapes everything we do if we are consistent with our vision of reality.